Hello everyone, this is Zedwin from Resolution Design, top lead Shopify experts here today going to review Mobilia, the Mobilia theme from Shopify, or actually from out of the sandbox, a Shopify website. So the developers of this theme, not to mix anybody up, is out of the sandbox, and the platform that we're using here is Shopify. All right, so I'm sure everybody is aware uh, that you could get this theme online or test it out yourself. But the purpose of this video is not for coders. Definitely, if you're an expert at coding, you know a whole bunch of HTML and all that stuff, this is not the video for you. This is the video for the basic person that's just trying to build their website. They're trying to sell some products online, right? And they don't have enough time or maybe resources to um, get a developer. So they want to kind of do it themselves, right? So that's what it's all about. This is Mobilia. Let's get started. I have four tabs open. And in these four tabs, we're going to go over their four different looks. And on this presentation, I'm going to tell you everything in and out as far as pros and cons regarding Mobilia, if you should install it or not. Let's start all the way at the top. So right here, the one we're looking at, it's called Sydney. I'm sure you guys seen it before. Uh, with Sydney, we're gonna first begin over here with the notification. It's very tight, very limited. Um, so some, some information like this would be more than enough, or you could disable it, which is a good thing. So you're not permanently stuck with it. Then we have the logo canvas. Um, having or doing business with some clients, I noticed that some clients have like square logos, logos that kind of like, let's say look like this or they have the rectangle logo. Well, themes typically have a canvas uh, to fit your logo in here. And in this example, is just trying to give you an idea what type of logo can you fit. And so ideally, simplistic logos like this would be great. So a logo like this is like, you know, it has this and then it's transparent inside here. But according to the other demo versions, this is a square logo. This is a square logo. This is more of a rectangle logo. Here in their other version, they have again, a rectangle, very minimalistic. And then right here, they have another very simple rectangle logo. So the way that it's recommended is for you to have a rectangle logo. You don't want something real big because then it's going to obliterate the, the header. So this is kind of giving you an idea. Then after that, as you can see here, uh, we have the social menus over here or the social icons so that people could find you online. And then we have the navigation system, the main menu navigation. And according to all of the examples, as you could see, they have that same pattern where you got either your phone number or something like that. And then the drop down menu, or you could have a contact us where it links to the contact us page, a sign in. And then this is the, the regular thing, right? So it has a good presentation and a search bar. I believe if you want to enable it, I don't think it's mandatory. Well, it seems like it is. So it's there. And I believe there's an on and off switch. You could take that out. But the point is, is that they want you to use both areas, right? This is kind of good because then you could keep this main menu navigation short with like four items and then just add a few more items here versus having it like super long. And that just uh, deters the experience. Anyhow, uh, the only thing that you cannot probably do is say, well, I like this, but what if we grab this logo, we put it over here, and then we put this underneath here, or we take the logo, we put it mm, over here, and then we take all this and we put all of that over there, and then take that and then put it all the way over here. That's when custom development comes in. It's not that you can't do it, it's just that you know, it's custom design and you might have to hire a professional coder to do that for you. So this video is just letting you know very transparently what you can and cannot do with this theme. And so that's the look for the header. Going down, we have this nice big panorama type of image here. And as you can see on all of them, they are different sizes. So there's no rules when it comes to that. Um, there is a rule, however, that you need to ensure that you have the right high definition size of this nice picture. Okay. 
And also you could put words in it, uh, you know, kind of like an attention, a call to action per se. Um, but pay attention, you have to, upon designing, you have to make sure that it's nice, right? So whatever image that you choose, this is a slideshow section, uh, make sure that you choose an image so that the letters could pop out and people could actually read it versus something that's like too busy or, or something, you know, things like that. Um, so as you can see, this one's like very short. This is wide, but it's kind of like very short. And, and it's kind of nice because it allows you to see that there's more to the website. Versus something like this, it's like it takes up the whole thing. And some people might say, okay, so this is the website. Um, I guess there's nothing else to this except for me to click this button here. Whereas over here, it says, no, look, this is a website. It has this nice image and you could scroll down because there's more. So that's the good thing, right? And over here, same thing. It kind of like peeks at you and says, oh, hey, very nice. There's more stuff to it. So that's very important. There's the reason why I say that's critical is because there's some themes that they are very strict on the type of dimensions that you could put on that slider. And they're like, look, it's either this dimension or not. And that's it. And you're like, well, no, I want it to look like this. So having flexibility to choose either or is very good for you. Let's go down here to this next section to the first presentation of the actual theme. And so this is like a gallery. Okay. And this gallery, one of the reasons why I like it is because it's not just a gallery where it just shows pictures and that's it with no action to it. There are some themes that they could do a similar gallery, but all it does is that you click on it and like a pop-up comes out and it just shows you the picture of this expanded. Whereas over here, you could actually click on it and it takes you to the collection, which is very nice, right? Um, it's very clean, so I, I kind of like that. Uh, going over here, let's see what they did. They did something else. Uh, they had like um, some text information where there's a header and some subtext along with maybe some logos. And this stuff right here, I believe they either probably used the logo section combined here or they might have done some hard coding, but it's very clean as you could see. Plus you could edit the color of this background so that it goes well with the actual feeling of the website. Whereas in Milan, kind of the same thing. The only thing is that they added a picture over here on the side and some text. This might have some custom coding to it, um, but I'm sure that they have updates that perhaps might make it more easier for you. And the same thing over here, okay? very clean. Now the only thing of course I will tell you a little downside of it is that if you're going to add an image you need to make sure that this image is clean meaning that you see these cufflinks uh, they cannot be a box right it cannot be a flat image of just cufflinks it has to be perfectly photoshopped or the background needs to be the exact same color of whatever this is otherwise you're going to see a box a white box here same thing over here it needs to be clean and you could kind of see some Photoshop errors, I could see it. You see this white line right here, right? They try to clean it out the best that they could in order so that it seems that it's sitting on it. So you gotta make sure that you have a good graphic designer if they're gonna do something like this. Um, because, you know, images, you just can't find them on Google and it's like all clean like that, ready for you. And that's the only thing, right? So I like this part here. On the mobile, this looks great because immediately it gives the user uh, the experience of, all right, you know, you have the menus up here, but then you also have menus over here. So that's a good thing. Then followed after that is a quick section. Very clean. I like how they present it here. Uh, the pro about it, because it's clean, it looks very nice. The bad thing about it, your pictures have to be on point. Pay attention to this white background here and look at these product images. If you are grabbing images from elsewhere and they're not properly set up or properly fine tuned, um, it could look off, right? And if it's off, there's no symmetry in it, then it's like, oh, this is not a professional website. So you have to make sure that your images look proper. Uh, over here in Napa, you know, they're just kind of using the same thing as we saw before. On Milan, right here, they're using like a checkerboard, uh, checkerboard layout which is great for really big pictures. You could put a big picture here, it has to be square. It cannot be rectangle or anything like that. And it has to be very, very high quality. It can't be something that you took off of a picture maybe off of a low end phone, something very, very nice. 
and right here you click on this and it will take you to the collections okay so that's very nice uh, here in Tokyo they kind of also did this checkerboard thing and none of this is custom coded this is very straightforward very easy for you to use so that's the real benefit I've seen other themes especially from other um, sources that you could get it for real cheap that you could do this but man you have to custom code that out you get frustrated so easy you're like okay I need to hire a web developer so that they could get it like this and the bad thing that I don't like about that is that you know they don't disclose that information they don't say hey you know you need a custom coder you need to be proficient on coding in order to get this look well the good thing about this is that no you could get this look by yourself you just have to be a bit savvy with it or learn and they also have you YouTube videos that you could check out as to how they did all this stuff which is a good thing okay let's go back to our main example here um, and this is like the featured product so a featured product is very nice again the pictures have to be on point as well as your other um, alternative pictures or other pictures that you want to demonstrate within a variant okay so notice how it doesn't just stick to that one product uh, by the default color. If I go gunmetal, then it's going to show me the gunmetal. If I go over here gold, it's going to show you gold, right? So that, it, it's not complicated to do. You could find it online. I have other videos there that can kind of show you how to do that. Um, the description, that is the only thing where, yes, this is going to involve some intermediate skills because the way that they have it presented here is that this product or their product has tabs in it. And so when you first upload your products, typically the product description goes all the way down and sometimes it could be super long. So you'll see this super big block, right? And then all of this stuff is up here and there'll be some white space over here. And then because this description is so long, right? It doesn't have the tabs. So the only thing I don't like about this is that um, in this theme is that the tabs are not easy to set up. Uh, Out of the Sandbox made another resource as far as if you wanted to make your product descriptions as tabs, um, you could go ahead and follow their long instructions. My problem is that it shouldn't, you shouldn't take your users to go to another source to tell or teach them how to do these tabs. You should have these tabs already pre-configured with an on and off switch, rather if they want to or not, right? And have it set up within the customized theme setting. The reason why I feel this way is because you're showing this on your demo. If you're showing something on your demo and you're saying, look, this is easy to do. This is easy to do. You just add a section and it's there. This is easy to do. Then I expect this to be easy to do too, right? Um, I don't like when themes show off special abilities that are not easy to find inside of the customized theme setting. That is one thing I don't like. I really hope that maybe Out of the Sandbox watches this video and realizes that, no, you need to make this easy for everybody um, so that anybody could do this. Like this little link right here, that's easy to do. You know, you go inside your product description and add a hyperlink, that's fine. But to enable this, oh no, you gotta go and do your own thing or hire a Shopify expert. Okay, so over here we have uh, another type of slideshow, but this one's testimonials. Uh, testimonials, you could put a nice uh, tall rectangle picture, right? And then you could put testimonials, it's fairly easy to do. The only tough part might be finding the color scheme in order to make this gold and make this white, but it's there. It's very easy to do, there's no hard coding. Just make sure your pictures are on point and in the right dimension. Following along, over here we have just a statement with some logos. Logos look great for certain businesses. Um, the only thing is, is that sometimes when people try to search for their logos, it's all different sizes. And so the only thing that I would tell the theme, develop, um, the theme developer is inside of your custom themes, uh, educate us, the business owners, of what size should these logos be because I just think that they just say add a logo and that's it um, they should say if you want it to look like our demo or our demo has this size of the logo right so that they all look nice and clean otherwise you're gonna have to hire a graphic designer to say or a web developer to say hey look I got this theme and I want these logos to look like this 
Can you figure out what the dimensions are? And then you got to talk to your graphic designer and be like, hey, I got these logos. Can you put them into this size? It's a mess. Who wants to deal with that, right? So I think educating everybody as far as how to get these logos nice and clean would be, would be helpful. Here is a blog section. Basically what this does is that it just shows your latest two blogs. And um, you need to make sure that your pictures are nice and even, meaning that uh, your cover image for this blog should not be tall and then this one be, mm -mm -mm. Uh, the theme is not gonna auto fix it for you. You need to make sure your pictures are on point. And here's our excerpts excerpts so this stuff is easily done online in Shopify and then we got these nice big Instagram feed which is pretty cool I like this Instagram feed because it connects straight to your in business Instagram account so whenever you go ahead and update your pictures they all get shifted over so the latest and greatest will always be this one and then the you know everything just kind of gets pushed over and we're gonna check out their other demos and again, this is the same theme, but it's just their other demos, right? And just showing you the capabilities as to what you could do over here. We see this, but there's no description, which is good because there's an on and off switch for you to show the description or just not show it. It just really depends on how you feel about it, right? Over here, remember what we saw? This? I don't want to lose you guys. Remember this? Well, maybe you're like, well, no, I have a super long description. I'd rather just keep it simple. Okay. There it is. All right. And then right here, this is another slideshow. And here they're showing you another format as to how to illustrate your blogs. You could either do it by twos, or if you're, if you're a real blogger, then you have it set on the latest fours. And then here it is. Okay. But everything is straightforward from there. Um, let's look at over here. We got the checkerboard, right? I like that then some statement, so we got the header and then some text. Then over here, they're showing their featured collection. A featured collection is good because you're showing, let's say in this case, he's selling suits, and so he's showing the best of the best suits and these are on sale and stuff like that. So you could show your, your collection. Now, pay attention, this looks very nice because all of his products are all the same size. So if you try to do this on your store and your products are all over the place, I'm sure there's apps out there that'll help you resize your images, but I think it's very important before you install this theme um, to make sure that your products look great um, or at least that they're all the same size so that they all look very nice, especially if you're gonna use something like this. Okay, we've seen this before. This is the testimonials, which is very good. Here we go again with the logos. And here's just another gallery. If I click on this, this is what I was trying to show you guys. So they have one to do this, right? But then the other one is what I really like, the one where um, you get to see hover over and the collections are there. Uh, over here, we have a featured product, but they're illustrating their product a different way when it comes to the variants. So that's another bonus about this theme, that this theme allows you to not just do like the typical drop down for products like this, but you could do it like this too, where if there are variants, you say, okay, large. And right here, I want it in Sienna, but I can't choose it because you know they're out of stock but the theme has the ability that when something is out of stock you could go ahead your clients and say i'm interested let me know when it's available again you could enable or disable this feature however way you feel about it this right here is a banner a banner with text overlay that's what this is um, but be very particular about the picture pay attention notice how this picture is full of colors we have this blue that blue this leather color we have skin color we have white going on there's a lot of colors going on here but the graphic designer made this fade away and the focus is this so that the letters come out here and you can read it but if the picture is too busy no matter what color you put here, it's not gonna be legible. You gotta be careful with that. Um, so you just have to be very particular when it comes to this. And then the footer, as you could see, the different ways of how you could set that up. It's very nice and clean. I like it. 
Uh, let's go here to Tokyo Tees. Again, this is just focus on the homepage. We're going to get deeper into the other parts in a few. All right, we have Tees of the Month. This looks great. See, here we go with the tabs again. And look, they went very descriptive. Let's talk about this for a second. This doesn't come with the theme. Ah, here we go again. This doesn't come. Look, look how nice that looks. Hey, I'm broken. There's some custom coding involved in that. I don't like that. Okay, because if you're showing me something, then give me the template that does this because I want it just like that. And I'm sure the guys that out of the sandbox will do it for you. They'll be like, you, you tell them, hey, out of the sandbox, you know, I got, I just purchased your, your mobilia theme. And I saw that on the Tokyo, you have this little table that does this, right? And I want to do exactly that. They're going to be like, sure, let me go into your store, give me access, and I'll just add a little code, sprinkle a little code in your theme, and there it is. Yeah, that's nice. Applaud. That's, that's all nice. The problem is, and sometimes those guys don't work on weekends. Sometimes there's a holiday going on. Sometimes people are just busy. Or what if you need a launch tomorrow and you need this immediately because you have a presentation? You can't wait on people to respond to you to sprinkle a little code to make this happen. I, I, I don't like that. I don't like that. It needs to be there. And it should be by default turned off so that if you want to turn it on, there's some clear instructions on how to do that. And if it's detailed, then right there on the customized theme, they show a little link saying, hey, this is how you do that. Click here, watch the video. Boom. Doesn't make you work. The more complex, the more frustrated the users get. And then they're just like, ah, I need to, I can't do this. All right, everything looks good here. All right, let's dive into the, the actual product page. So again, this is the home page, right? So now we're gonna dive in. Let's look at this menu here. Hover over. Here is a cascading menu. This is what I call a cascading menu. Hover over, drop down, sub drop down. See how they did that? This is called cascading. As you could picture a water cascading, it's water, cascade, 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 right? That's what that means. But nevertheless, it's still a vertical menu. And vertical menus are okay, but it does not apply for all businesses. There's some businesses out there that have a lot of different categories and they need a presentation to have a lot of category presentation, almost like a mega menu. I don't know if you guys know what a mega menu is. And sadly, not to get too deep into that, look it up, right? Mega menus. But um, Mobilia in none of their demo themes do they show a mega menu. Don't get it wrong. If there's someone else that installed Mobilia and they have a mega menu, I'm telling you right now, either they're a coder and they broke the theme and they just jailbroke it or whatever, or they hired a Shopify expert to get that mega menu going on for them, or they called out of the sandbox and they say, hey, I want a mega menu, can you put it for me? Sure, and then they do it for you. Who knows if there's a fee? But does it come out of the box? No. So for what type of store is this for? For a basic store. A store that sells just men's, women's, arrivals, and summer sale. Uh, vertical menus are not good when you when you hover over shop and your drop down menu goes down to here, right? Because then you're like, hold on, let me just read this tablet of information of menus. And it just gets overwhelming. It's not presentable. And you can get away with this where you consolidate your menus and it kind of looks good, okay? But the more cascading you get, the more of this you get, you see, you see that here, it's like, oh, I can't, I can't, you know, that gets tricky, okay? So that's my opinion. Um, Mobilia should cater to everybody, not just simple shops, but for complex shops, because every business is different. I'm gonna go over here where it says premium theme, and now we are entering what's called a collection page. Now let's check out a few of them, right? We're gonna go over here to suits. And we're going to go to Napa here. We're going to go to our reds and we're going to go over here and we're going to go to men's. All right. Immediately. Let's talk about a good thing. A banner in the collection. That is good. 
so that your banner has presentation and the banner is not just the standard size there's other templates out there that they're like yeah you can add a banner but you can only add a banner like this and that's it mm -mm. mobilia allows you to put a banner like this it allows you to put a banner like this see that it's totally different it allows you to go no banner and just have text it allows you to have no banner and straight to the info straight to the products and presentation well depending on what you're selling by the way never judge a theme based on the demo content don't look at a theme and say oh uh this theme is a theme meant for herbs and because i don't sell herbs then this is not the theme for me. No, that's not <laughs> that's not the case. No, never judge based on its content. Uh, it, it could apply for anything, right? Uh, it just depends on how much products you want to sell and how you want to illustrate it. In this particular instance, we see that they're using the two column format. Over here, they're using four columns, right? So they have four columns, but they only have two rows. Over here, they have two columns, but they have right, three rows. Over here, they have two columns, very simple, right there. And right here, they have three columns, but they have a lot of shades. So that's very nice, I like that, okay? Uh, simplicity, how to do that, it's all within the customized theme, so that's very good. Over here, this stuff right here, mm, you can. I'm not so exactly sure if it's as easy to do. Let's just say it is, but this, Mm -mm. this stuff right here you need intermediate experience especially tags if you don't know how to use the tag system i got videos i think it's called like the getting started part one part two part three i know part one had i speak a lot about tags and tagging your products that's how i build my websites it's all about tags so uh, um, building your website with tags allows you to do subcategories um, on the side panel here side menus and etc so you see tags so i get to go here and it just shows all green go here all organic go here show all roasted right it's very convenient because it serves like a filter process but is it super easy no not super easy you got to invest a little time and you have to have a tag system in place and then you got to go into customized theme and then you got to set all this up you might want to deal with that or you might be like hey, we got time for that you know it's totally up to you right okay so this is a collection page I'm not trying to make this video too long all right so let's go over here now this is what's called a product landing page this is right where the customer is about to commit they see the product they want to get into it they're like okay I want to add it to the cart and I want to go ahead and purchase so right here as you could see they have the tab system going on again we already spoke about that they have variants you could purchase either or right you could have the quality select their quantity quantity and this is optional for you depending on your business okay and right here when i press add to cart you will notice that the cart updates there but there's the option that you could have it so that when someone adds to cart it'll take you immediately to the cart right let's check out these other things so let's go on this one right here look at that layout we already spoke about that let's go ahead and add to cart how that looks like it automatically goes there okay great let's go to the third one we want to see all the options that the developer is showing us of what we could do add to cart there it is all right and then finally let's go over here on this one and let's add to cart that's it okay so i'm not this part right here is is i'm a bit iffy i'm not sure if if they already have the ability so that when a user adds to cart, a little slideshow comes out here saying, you know, you added one to the cart and here's your summary. Some of their themes do that. Others don't. Me personally, I like the experience of showing the summary because it shows, it validates what I chose. Now, I'm sure there's other mobilias out there, the custom websites that they probably added that, right? But I'm just saying. It's not out of the box. So the user wants to go ahead and finalize on the cart. They have to press this button here. And this is their cart experience. Okay. Let's go back over here. Um, let's check out what this cart experience is in case if there's something different. No, there isn't. All right. 
Uh, let's go back over here. Let's go to the cart. Hmm. Let's continue shopping. What happened there? I forgot about what I purchased. What's that? There it is. Okay, so it shows the image, right? Has a shipping calculator if you want it, if you want it there or not. Okay, let's go over here and let's um, refresh this page in case it probably forgot what. Oh, that's so weird. It just empties my cart like it doesn't want me to shop. And let's click on that right there, and there it is. Okay, so it's very standard, very straightforward, clean cart summary. Personally, what I would have thought would have been cool was another banner right here, maybe allowing you to upsell something, saying, hey, by the way, did you hear about this product from us? That would be nice, and maybe a call to action. But some of you guys might feel differently about that. You're like, no, 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 we, we got them so close to finalizing the purchase. We don't want them to go back. No, 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 we want them to cash out, cash out. So that might be preference totally up to you. Let's check out other uh, pages to wrap up this video. So this is just their blog page. It looks very presentable, right? And then just the basic information like the about us and stuff like that, like it's very basic. It's nothing uh, out of this galaxy. Uh, I would prefer uh, these themes to do a little something more about the about us page. It's possible, it's just that I noticed with out of the sandbox, they leave it very generic. And let's face it, these custom pages, like the basic about us or the contact us, let's look at their uh, contact us page here. They're so basic. Like I feel that this is the bare skin and bones and the least amount of effort that they put on this theme for it being 160 or $180 and you to like, wow, that, they really want me to subscribe. And like, and just, just put the bare minimum on this to me is just not right. I say that if you're gonna go and do something very professional like how you did here, then maybe, just maybe, you should have put the same emphasis on the contact us because it looks just too generic. Too generic, right? Um, it should be something nice where it allows the map of the business, right? It, it probably has some more fields. All of them just have the same fields. Right? Name, email, that. You can't ask for more. That's it. Oh, you want to ask more? Oh, you got to go install an app. You got to get a designer. You got to do this, that, and the third. No, 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 no one got time for that. Right? You want to get this done. You want to start selling. Right? Same thing for the About Us page. The About Us page. To get this picture to sit next to this is not easy. Shopify's custom page designer in the back end, you know, when you go to uh, your back end on the admin site, and then you go to where it says online stores, you go to where it says pages, and that little section right there for you to combine your picture and text together so that it wraps around real nicely is a nightmare. A nightmare, that is not easy. And, and Shopify's like, oh, okay. You know, there it is. Almost like, look, we just focus on giving you a platform, let the developer cook something up nice for you. And so I feel like since these guys out of the sandbox are one of the leaders, I think that they should put more emphasis to this to make the about us more nice. Oh, how nice, Ed, how nice do you want it to be? Man, I want it to be this nice. Imagine your about us page that looks something like this. Do you guys agree? That it, it talks about your business and it tells a story. Heck, it even has a video, right? Why not? It's a premium theme from Shopify. So I highly encourage Out of the Sandbox to do that. But outside from that, I personally feel that Out of the Sandbox has one of the best themes. They're one of the leaders out there. And today, this video only, I am just emphasizing on Mobilia. Guys, if you like this video, let me know because I will continue and review other themes for you and tell you about the pros and cons. And the way I could do that is by your support. Please share this video, subscribe, put your comments. Let me know that you're alive. Hey, I'll answer back. Um, tell the world that this is what it's about and I will definitely make more videos. This is Edwin again from Resolution Design, one of the top developers and Shopify experts. Thank you so much for your time. 